Today we're going to talk about knowledge checks, uh, specifically the progressive and comprehensive knowledge checks that you're going to take throughout the course. Um, so after the initial knowledge check, every knowledge check after that is going to fall into two categories. It's going to be either a progressive knowledge check, which means it's going to check the most recently learned knowledge, or it's going to be a comprehensive knowledge check, which means it's going to check your knowledge over the whole course thus far. Now, what's important to remember about knowledge checks is a knowledge check is a measure of what you currently know. So you need to answer every question to the best of your ability um, and don't use any unfair advantages. Because if you happen to use, say, an outside calculator or a sibling or a friend <clears throat> or photo math or anything like that, the software, Alex, is going to think you know that material. So it's going to give you harder material that it thinks you're ready for. So you need to make sure you're being honest with Alex. Now, that being said, don't just click I don't know on everything because then it's going to start you over again. Right? You don't want to go from 40% back down to 20% and have to do all those lessons over again. So what you want to do is faithfully answer every question in the knowledge check that you can and only use I don't know if you have no idea what the question is asking for. So for example, if your knowledge check is talking about um, solving quadratics with the quadratics equation, and we haven't covered that yet, and you have no idea what that means or you know how to start, then you would click I don't know. But if it's asking you to say multiply two three digit numbers together, don't click I don't know just because you don't feel like doing long multiplication by hand, right? You know how to do that, or at least you have some semblance of an idea how to do that. So that's what I don't know means. I don't know means I've never seen this material before. I don't know doesn't mean I can't remember how to answer it. If you have some inkling of how to answer the question, try it, put some answer in there, right? Because attempting something is better than just saying, I don't know. Um, so hopefully that gives you some insight into knowledge checks um, and what they are. A progressive knowledge check will be about 20 questions. A comprehensive will be about 30. And you need to finish them as soon as they are assigned. Um, knowledge checks will prevent you from doing anything else so as soon as you can get those knowledge checks done, make sure you block out you know, a good hour, hour and a half of time to do them. Uh, once you get that done, then you can go on uh, and keep working on your path and keep uh, striving for that 90% goal. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.